Mike's making a video, and I'm making a video at the same time, so we're swapping the camera back and forth, so I'll make this uh, clip here fairly quick. As I previously mentioned in a video, I'm getting ready to do the subfloor in here um, for my flooring buddy there to come by and uh, help me with ceramic. So I've got it all cleaned out finally and swept up, and uh, I'm going to start laying down the aspenite. I'm using... Uh, a 7 16 aspenite for the subfloor in this case and I'm going to screw it down um, just more or less just to give it a nice solid base to work with with the tile because some of this floor as you can see has gotten a little bit chewed up over the years as it was um, leaking there were a few uh, for years it's been leaking and uh, numerous places we've solved that now and I'll just show you quickly what else I've done just to prepare for this uh, as I've started I sealed up the top with the uh, insulation stuff there because you could actually see daylight um, coming up through there so I've got that done because we're going to have to put some source of uh, heat out here for the uh, tile to dry and everything and then I'll have to grout it I know I'm okay grouting it but um, of course I have to get my door off but I do have this other door I can shut so I'm going to have to do something about up there maybe keep some form of the heat in so that's that. I'll give you some more clips. In. So I've got all my subfloor almost done. I'm just going to screw down the final little board back there, and uh, I got to add more screws to it. I did, had a shortage of screws, so I've done about every uh, 16 inches or so. And when I get some more screws, I'm going to put more in the middle to really tighten it down. And uh, I was short one board to finish the whole room but it worked out okay because uh, I'm putting a wall right here an interior wall and this is the only part that we're actually doing the ceramic tile in is from this wall here over to the front door there this part in here I'm doing laminate like I did in my hallway when I get that done so I can finish this after and I've got the uh, cook stove back there and this cabinet that I was talking about saving I, I still might try to salvage that um, I might find a spot for it, I, I don't know. But, uh, and I've just hung one sheet of drywall up to get it out of my way. I have uh, a few there, and so instead of moving it, I just put it up. Just to kind of get an idea of how nice it's going to look, hopefully. And, uh, by the time you watch this, you'll probably have seen the chimney one, so I guess I can show you that I've got that up and done. I have to put drywall, of course, in behind that black plate. So, all right. So the next step will be the next step will be the um, the mesh. Uh, I'm going to put the mesh down. That's no problem. And uh, I have to talk to my friend tonight and see whether or not he's interested in parging it. I don't know. He might do it Friday. I'll have to see what his schedule is. So he might be a better guy at parging it because it has to be perfect. And uh, obviously he's got you know over seven years experience. And uh, it'd be easier on him the better it is. Um, I mean, I can do a certain amount of stuff, that's true, but uh, we'll see what he says. So I'm just going to screw down this last board, and then I'm pretty well done for the day. I've just got to build this interior wall, and of course I forgot I needed 10-foot uh, 2x4s for the top and bottom plate. So I'll have to get those. So I'll get them after I'm done work tomorrow. So today we're going to start preparing our floor for tile. I got my homie here, my flooring dude. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll put the link in the sidebar. Okay. Um, <laughs> maybe a few people know about that one. All right. Um, so what we're doing here is I've got, as you already saw before, the subfloor is down. We finished screwing down any uh, spots that were bubbling up. That kind of helps the two guys. And uh, uh, we're doing this mesh. We're putting this down. And uh, all you do is put a staple, would you say, about every foot? Yeah. Just to hold it down? It's like just to hold it until the mortar grabs and okay. keeps everything solid. Right. So that's my job right now while he's getting it ready. Is this one ready to staple? Yes, they all are. They all are. They're all right. Down. I'll get to work then instead of talking. Okay. <laughs> so we're filming our first so batch here. There's this one too if you want. This is actually better because okay. it's got a wider... Uh, okay. Uh, girth for the uh, proactivity of the preclusion within the Pandora. Right, right. Not to mention the penebrium. And what's the name of the stuff we're using again? 
Well, this would be thin set mortar. Okay. Uh, and the purpose of parging is to give us a nice base. Yeah, a nice flat base for the ceramic. And in this case, uh, it's covering over the uh, subfloor that's there to uh, prevent any shifting underneath the tile so that we don't get cracking in the future. Right. We're getting somewhere here. It's almost thick enough for my taste. Not that I will lick it. Now, when you're doing this, you don't want to breathe the dust because it causes silicosis. That is, miner's lung. And if you get miner's lung, they'll throw you in a cave and they won't let you out. Because <laughs> you're now a miner officially. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty wet. Is that how you like it? Yeah. Okay. I'll fill it, the crevices nicely. There we go. So you're almost using this as like a leveler, really. Yeah. That's going to fill everything up for us. The idea here is to have a fairly flat surface in the end. Should that actually be possible. Especially with all the coffee that I drink. I like to use leaded gasoline because of Al Gore. <laughs> Not only that, but I eagerly await the new HST. Yes, I'm really looking forward to that. I think that's another good promise fulfilled by our fearless Premier Dalton McGinty. Oh, yes who said, I promise. Remember the big campaign poster mm -hmm. with a big smiley face? I promise. No new taxes. I promise I will continue to lie. <laughs> That's right. No new taxes. You should just say that right out. I will lie to you. You're just sheeple. What's this one? And you want a nice clean floor too. Oh, yeah. Give it a good sweep before you put the smash down. Helpful, yeah. And we expect this will take about 24 hours to dry, maybe a little longer. Maybe the three bags was a little conservative. Uh-oh. How much is left in that bag, you think? Oh, well, it's about a half bag. You'll get through the purging. Okay, but we'll need more. Oh, you use this Setting. for the tile? Yep. Okay, I'll get another bag for that then. Oh, yeah. I thought it was different. Hello, same stuff. No problem. And you've got uh, 5,000 square feet of this to put down? Very soon, yeah. Are you doing the mesh with it or is it going right on the concrete? You know what, I don't get those details until I get there. Uh, then I can let you know later. Would you use mesh on concrete? On concrete? No. No, you just I put it right on. I would use a membrane like a Schluter Dietra, which is like a waffle type thing. Oh, okay. And that stuff adheres to concrete. Okay. It's actually the best product on the market for that. Your back seems pretty well good now, eh? Oh yeah, this is great. There won't be much work to do after this. Before setting. No, I, I meant your, your back. Your back is better. Oh, it's better than it has been, yeah. Good. Oh, every once in a while it just spazzes out. 
as a certain incident falling a oh, story or two. I mean. Yes, we had a accident. Well, not we. He had an accident at work. What was that now? About three years ago. It was well. No, you had You hadn't even bought your house yet. Yeah, it was four years yeah. ago. And uh, be four years in February. He fell off a a ledge while sanding the floor, and uh, because the guardrail had been taken off, and uh, that's just the way it is. You know, when you're working, you just get busy and you're focusing on what you're doing and not paying attention. Yeah, and down he went, and the sander come down after him. And Workers' comp loves me. Yeah, the sander decided to uh, hit you in the head, didn't it? Yes, it did. I have a scar from it. Yeah, lovely. And we're talking sander. I should point out, we're not talking like your average Black & Decker or, you know... Industrial <laughs> sander. We're talking about something that weighs as much as an engine from a car, yeah. <laughs> I saw this sander, it's huge. Yeah. You can barely lift it up, it's big. You want me to start mixing now, then? Yeah.